ETFs are a great way to earn a consistent stream of income without having to spend hours of your time and energy researching individual companies. I'll be going through the unique pros and cons and the exact step-by-step -step process of buying some ETFs using a very popular investing platform called Stake. So firstly, what is an ETF? Essentially, an ETF is a collection of multiple different companies all put together based on a particular investment goal. So you can have ETFs that might track a specific sector in the market, like healthcare or technology. You might have ones that look at a specific commodity like gold or silver and then very popular ones are ETFs that will track the overall performance of a country's stock market. So in Australia you have the ASX 200, in New Zealand the NZ Top 50 and of course in America there's the S&P 500 which tracks the 500 biggest publicly traded companies in the American market. So with ETF investing it's good to have a long-term perspective. You won't become an overnight millionaire with an ETF. It's a slow and consistent return. A good way to think about them is like a secondary retirement fund. So if you were to invest into the S&P 500 from the age of 25 to 65 and you put in $5,000 per year, over those 40 years, you'd have $1.29 million. And if you were to instead save that money as cash, you'd only have $200,000. So over a $1 million difference between investing your money and just saving it as cash. Some of the benefits of ETFs is that they're a low cost way to get access to lots of different companies. Normally with a brokerage platform, you have a flat fee when investing. So with something like stake, you'd be charged three US dollars per investment. If you were to end individually go and buy all 500 companies in the S&P 500 with a $3 fee per investment, that's $1,500 you'd spend just on brokerage fees in comparison to being charged one fee but getting access to all 500 companies in the ETF. And your money is spread out amongst all these great businesses, Coca-Cola, Amazon, Facebook, Disney, Tesla, you name it, pretty much every major company in the world is included in this ETF. So it's a great way to get exposure to lots of really good businesses. But at the same time, some of the cons with ETFs is that you don't get a big return in a short space of time. You're never going to become an overnight millionaire from investing into an ETF. You won't get the crazy returns that might come with a tech stock like Tesla or Nvidia, but they are a consistent way to make money. Another con is that you don't have as much control over where your money's going. Essentially, you're just riding the standard market return and you're never going to make more of a profit than about 8 to 10% per year. Of course, some years you might make 20% or 18%, but other years you might only make 5% or you might lose 2%. So the average you get over decades at a time is a return of about 8%. When it comes to investing into ETFs, the best strategy is something called dollar cost averaging. And that just means you put in a consistent amount of money into the market week by week for better or for worse, no matter if the market's going up, down or moving sideways. This is the strategy that the world's best investor, Warren Buffett, recommends that the vast majority of people should be doing and it's the strategy that we used in the previous example where you get over a million dollar return over a 40 year period. When you dollar cost average, you're just capturing the standard market return and that will give you a consistent profit in the long run. You don't have to spend any time thinking about if it's a good time to buy or sell or if, or if the market's profitable, you always just get a consistent growth over time. So lastly, we'll be going through the process of actually buying an ETF using the brokerage platform stake and if you want to get some free money when first signing up to stake you can use my affiliate link down below in the description box that will give you a free stock in either GoPro, Dropbox or Nike and currently the Nike stock is valued at over 100 US dollars and they're doing a promotion for GoPro where they'll give you three shares of GoPro instead of just one. So once you're on stake, this is what the home screen looks like and you just wanna click on the search icon in the bottom right hand corner and select what ETF you wanna be investing in. So we'll be investing into VOO, which is the S&P 500 ETF. So just search VOO at the top, click on it and then it'll give you a stock chart 
looking at the return of VOO over different time points. So one month, three months, and then you can also do three years as well. And then if you want to purchase some shares of the ETF, click on buy in the bottom left corner. And then I always just go with market buy, and that's just buying the shares of the ETF at the current market price. So VOO is $476 per share. And then market buy order is just purchasing those shares at that current $476 value. So you can buy fractional shares as well. You can just invest $10 if you wanted. You don't have to buy a whole share of the ETF. So if you just want to buy $10, type that in down here and then all you would have to do is click on review buy and then the shares will be purchased and they'll show up in your stake account and that's everything you have to do to buy some shares of an ETF using the stake platform. Besides just knowing the process of buying an investment it's important to know the other factors involved when using a brokerage platform. With stake there's lots of other bonus features like the ability to trade on borrowed money, getting instant access to your funds after selling an investment and lots of detailed financial analyst ratings that you can use to inform your buying decisions when it comes to your investments. If you want to see a complete breakdown of the stake platform then make sure to check out this video on screen that will show you everything there is to know about using stake.